Have you ever wondered what makes these by lanes of Goa so attractive to tourists? It's the bright colors of the walls that pulls you right in. The whether it's the furniture of your house or the walls that make up your house, most things feel incomplete without a coating of paint on them. But have you ever wondered where this silent hero of our lives gets manufactured? Well, I am at the plant site of Billa Paints, a site that is being built by the Aditya Billa group. And today we are going to understand more about how this plant is getting built. Who are the people who are responsible for building this plant and what you can expect from this. I have with me uh, an engineering leadership program participant, Mehul Jain, with whom I'm going to interact and know more about the program, his journey here and how he is seeing his future in this particular plant. Before we get into this, uh, you know, the detail of these construction sites, let's understand you a little bit uh, more, you know. Uh, Mehul, when have you done your uh, engineering from and uh, what was that journey like uh, for you? So, I did my uh, BE in uh, Mechanical Engineering and an MSc in Biological Sciences from Bits Pilani. My academic journey, I would say, it's a bit too overwhelming. Eventually, got a good GPA. Uh, then came the ABG and so here I am working at the mighty conglomerate. That's where I was coming to uh, Mehul, you know, ABG is one of the brands that uh, a lot of people look uh, up to. A lot of your peers, I'm sure, were also interested in uh, being at the shoes that you wear uh, in right now. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about that process. What exactly happened? How did you know that, you know, ABG is something that you wanted to explore in your life? So I'll just take you through my placement process. It was all online. It was pandemic time, so quite stressful already for everyone. My peers were all tired targeting IT companies and when getting placed much before me. So right. it was quite stressful for me at that time. But then uh, in a pre-placement talk about Aditya Birla group, came to know about, I want to go to this place. So I started preparing very, really very well for uh, placements, uh, for the interviews and all. Uh, the first round was a psychometric test uh, that happened. Uh, the next was a GD and uh, the third, the final round was a PI. In the interview rounds, uh, actually the panel made me feel very comfortable. And uh, I, I answered the questions, technical and HR, pretty well. So, and halfway through, uh, I realized that I'm going to make it this time. To meet the ever-increasing demand for paints, Aditya Villa Group is coming up with six new plants. One of which is at Chamrajnagar, where we are now. We went to Chamrajnagar, where the plant is getting built. Villa Paints is eyeing a total production capacity of 1.3 billion litres a year by 2024, which will make it the second largest player in the paint segment in the country. Since Mehul joined the Villa Paints division, the original intended investment of Rs 5,000 crore has been doubled to Rs 10,000 crore. Mehul, when did you get to know that uh, you know you will be working with uh, Villa Paints? Villa Paints being something that is up and coming, there is yeah. not much that you know about it. What was that feeling like? Yeah. So what happened was uh, we were recruited to the Aditya Birla Group and not a business of Aditya Birla Group. So later we realized that we would be uh, going to the Aditya, uh, this Birla Paints. Also, I had this news that uh, 5,000 crores were being uh, invested into this paints business. So I was really excited about it. See, I'm going to be a part of a startup and that too of an ABG. Uh, and Aditya Birla Group, uh, interestingly, has this program uh, called Engineering Leadership Program where, uh, you know, graduates uh, like you are trained. Tell us a bit about that program. What exactly happens uh, in, in, in that program? How do you make sure that you become ready for the challenges that uh, is, is to come for you guys. So it all started with the, when I came to this plant, Chamraj Nagar. Uh, the journey has been pretty good. Uh, I got to work across departments. So initially I got to work with the environmental and the health uh, safety department. So wherein we were uh, working on uh, getting a EC for our plant, that is environmental clearance. And uh, later I joined uh, the procurement team. In the procurement phase, uh, my job was to actually start uh, finalizing the specifications of various mechanical equipments, uh, work with our technical consultants and uh, basically uh, roll out the material receipts to our uh, vendors. So it also involved the evaluation of various mechanical vendors. Mayol, we are going to talk a little more about your work here, a little more about what you do uh, on a regular basis here yeah. and try to understand how you are, uh, you know, handling this startup sort of a setup here at this particular plant. But right now, we actually came in here pretty early in the morning and I'm craving for some tea. Yeah. So if you can help me with some chai and we can continue our cha cha there. Sure, be sure, sure, sure. Come cool. with me.
Peul, uh, you know, we are sitting here uh, again. As I mentioned, it's a different kind of a site for me because I have visited plants before this, and there are operational plants. There are things that happen that you know for sure. At the end of the day, there mm. is an output, right? Yeah. With you coming in here, what sort of work do you, you know, take up every day? How does it feel, uh, you know, coming to a place which is not operational yet, but you can see that there is a future? where tons and tons of uh, you know uh, production will happen at some point so let me walk you through my routine first so uh, i'm living in mysore which is an hour away from our site so our day starts with traveling to the site and uh, once we come here uh, our job is to ensure that uh, the construction work uh, which is going on uh, see you can see there are hundreds of people working simultaneously at site so it's our responsibility that they work safely and uh, safety is really really important so what we do is we'll take a side round and uh, ensure to uh, collect all the points that are there uh, take note of all the unsafe acts or conditions that are prevalent at site and uh, report it to the safety team so also we get to know the progress of the site in that way so yeah so since i'm a mechanical engineer and we are in the procurement phase so since we are coming with uh, uh, coming up with a paint manufacturing unit so there are a lot of mechanical processes industrial processes that are uh, required so various mechanical equipments are required for that process to which are a heart of the process so, uh, so our work is currently to procure all those mechanical equipment uh, so for before procurement you need to finalize their uh, specifications uh, so we are working with our technical consultants in specifying uh, in finalizing the specifications we also get into talks with our uh, equipment vendors take their inputs uh, how they according to their experience how paints uh, processes should be done. Superb. Uh, when was the time when you actually got to know about the magnanimity of the, uh, you know, the project that you have been uh, given or the kind of work that you will be doing in the future in, in this particular plan? When we started here, actually, as I told you, I wasn't even sure about what Greenfield means. We started with about 10-12 people at first in September last year. And uh, we are a team of about 20-30 people now and soon we would be about thousands working here so you can imagine the scale that we are talking about here so since we are currently in the procurement phase so i am handling the procurement parts uh, soon i'll be handling the complete paint processing block uh, that uh, and i'd be responsible for it so it involves the civil handover and the electrical instrumentation and mechanical teams all working together simultaneously to build that complete block. So I'm really excited about it because it's cross-functional knowledge for me. Once the plant is up and running, this is how the manufacturing process will look like. Before we can start churning out tons of different colored paints, it is imperative that we test the quality, color and texture of the paint in smaller amounts first. Different quantities of pigments of certain colors are added to a base to achieve the final shade. The viscosity of the paint is then checked to align with the standards and requirements. From there, the paint goes for a shade test. Once the paint passes the quality check, the actual production starts at full scale. The paint is then ready to be packed into cans and buckets to be shipped across the country. Neol, as excited as you are for the future, the same excitement is, uh, you know, there for me because I want to explore a little bit more uh, of this particular plan. I want to see the nooks and corners around this place. Sure, we can take a look. Let's, yeah, let's go. Let's come. So yeah, uh, let me show you around a bit. So let me hop in the vehicle. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Let's go. Behold, I can see so many things that you guys are building here right now. It's it's beautiful, it's green and it's going to be smelling of paint very soon. May you help me understand, how does it feel, you know, you're graduating, the first year you're coming out of your uh, engineering school. A lot of things go in your mind, right? And a good mentorship is something that is a bedrock of a great foundation in any of the organization. What was it like for you guys here? So when we joined back in September last year, so we had induction sessions about the one lasting about one and a half months. So where we interacted with our uh, seniors, uh, basically uh, management people. Uh, so we got to learn from them. Why did Aditya Birla Group enter into Birla Paints? So what is the scope and how are we going to expand? So hearing it from them actually made us feel that okay, that is how these people look at the businesses. Right. So we, we don't have that vision, but they helped us build that vision 
uh, encouraged us. Once you get into that vehicle in the morning, uh, what drives you to come here every day and uh, you know work in, in, in the plant like this? So whenever we're coming to the site, uh, we had this idea in mind that uh, see we are building it from scratch, nothing is there. It's all in our hands. It's the steering wheel is in our hands. Wherever we want to steer it to, we can take it there. And uh, also since we are in a starting phase, we have uh, we can have more innovations. We can have put in more ideas. The management is very supportive of new ideas. You can pitch on your ideas and whatever you feel like. You can. Uh, this is the part where you can actually. It's easy for you to uh, let your ideas be a part of this big project. Right. And it would be a very proud moment if when you see those ideas being implemented in front of you. Absolutely, absolutely. So that is what drives me here. What would be your advice to freshers, the new uh, people who will be joining from the engineering leadership program, your juniors who will come in here, what would be your advice for them? So my advice would, to the new ELPs joining uh, would be that uh, don't keep your mind fixated, don't develop strong opinions about things. Uh, the moment you start seeing challenges as opportunities, you start growing. So that would be my main advice. Apart from that, I would say that uh, keep reading good books, uh, keep meeting new people uh, so that you can uh, understand about their perspectives about life, about their business, about how they do their things. There's a lot to learn about when you open your eyes. Mehul, I don't know about your learning, but I definitely have learned a lot today uh, while talking to you. I have never seen a plant getting built, right? And that's something that fascinated me from the first time when I heard that I will be going to a place like this. I hope that your career also gets shaped just like this particular plant. And I hope that you also prosper as this plant prospers. And if you also want to know more about Aditya Birla Group, and the engineering leadership program there is an opportunity for you uh, there's a link in the description you can check that out there's a conversations cafe elp event that we are going to do soon in which mehul is going to join us and he's going to answer your queries uh, do tell us if you have any specific questions about this plant or mehul's journey or anybody else's journey and uh, we will make sure that we take those questions up and make mehul answer those Thank you very much Mehul once again for giving us this tour of this place and letting us you know know a little bit more about a plant in making. Yeah, thank you so much Paul. It was a wonderful experience for me as well.